Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. Now, before we begin with tonight's proceedings, I have an announcement to make regarding the Tag Team Championships. After successfully retaining the WWE Tag Team titles against Show Train last week on SmackDown, I think it's time for some new challengers. Which is why I am pleased to announce that starting tonight, we are going to have a mini tournament taking place to determine the number one contenders for Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero's tag titles at SummerSlam. Our first match will be the team of Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam in high risk, taking on Joey Mercury and Johnny Nitro of MNM. Good luck, gentlemen, and welcome everybody to Friday Night SmackDown. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Friday Night nice Smackdown. We are less than three weeks away from the SummerSlam pay-per-view, and we have one hell of a night ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight on SmackDown, Christian and AJ Styles will team up to try to take down Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels, and also the number one contender to the women's title at SummerSlam, Beth Phoenix, will be in action, and it was announced earlier today that there will be a mini tournament to determine the number one contenders for the tag team titles at SummerSlam as Eminem will take on high risk but we're gonna kick off the show because this man said that he was gonna call out his former partner Chris Benoit is in the building ladies and gentlemen at SummerSlam Chris Benoit will challenge John Cena for the WWE Championship. But last week, when he was scoping out the competition, he was confronted by his past. His actions came back to haunt him. And we saw the return of Daniel Bryan. If you guys cast your minds back, Chris Benoit was the man that took out Daniel Bryan when he drove him head first into the concrete floor. At Vengeance, we have not seen Daniel Bryan since. But that was until last week. And now, Chris Benoit is here to confront his past, of course. Like I said, Chris Benoit gets that title opportunity at SummerSlam. And he has been laser focused ever since he won the Kane of the Ring tournament. But right now, we're staring at his final roadblock. And let's see what Benoit has to say. You people know that Chris Benoit isn't one to come out to this ring to talk. He comes out here to make people tap. So with that being said, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Last week when I walked out onto that stage to scope out my competition for SummerSlam, a piece of my past came back and decided to get in my face. You all know who I'm talking about. Daniel. Bryan. Now Daniel, I think the time for games are over. You're standing between me and my WWE title match. And as I said, I'm not one to come out here and talk. So, if you got something to say to me, why don't you come down to this ring? Face me like a man and say it to my face. Just remember who you are dealing with. Well, Chris Benoit isn't wasting any time here, ladies and gentlemen. Calling Daniel Bryan out. Telling him, if you got something to say, say it to my face. And this man isn't gonna waste any time either. Daniel Bryan is back, ladies and gentlemen. But for what purpose? We are about to find out. As Daniel Bryan staring a hole through the man that used to be his mentor. Many said that these two are a lot alike. Both with their in rain abilities. But ladies and gentlemen, now they are face to face. And the great words of Merce YT13, this has got combustible written all over it. 
You know, Chris, you are absolutely right. The time for games is over. I mean, let's look at the series of events. You turned your back on me. I attacked you. You tried to end my career. And what was it all for? So that you could get to the spot that you felt you rightfully belonged in. So that you could get a WWE Championship match after all these years. But guess what, Chris? I'm still here. And this isn't over. But again, you were right. The time for games is over. So I didn't come here to attack you, nor did I come here to talk to you. I came here to challenge you. So Chris, what do you say? You want the spotlight so bad? You think you're that much better than me? Prove it. You and me, one-on-one, -on -one, tonight. What? Daniel Bryan says, I don't want to talk either. I want a match. With you, Benoit. What's Benoit gonna say? You're on. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a main event. Chris Benoit and Daniel Bryan are gonna clash. Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. The main event of the evening. Chris Benoit takes on Daniel Bryan. It is Chris Benoit's final roadblock on the road to SummerSlam. But wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, I was being told that there's some commotion backstage. It's Matt Morgan attacking Monty Brown. Matt Morgan beating the hell out of Monty Brown in the backstage area in the parking lot. And, and Monty Brown has been busted open. He's been torn apart. This feud between Monty Brown and Test goes back weeks. And now Matt Morgan has been going, God has been involved as he just sent Monty Brown head first through the glass window of the car. Matt Morgan brought in to be at, oh my God, test side. And there you see the results. Monty Brown has been laid out once again by Matt Morgan and is at that man's direction you wanted to be a tough guy huh money well this is what happens when guys like you get involved in my business but if you still want to be tough next week why don't you meet my blueprint in the ring one-on-one -on -one and we'll see just how tough you really are wow Test is challenging Monty Brown to face Matt Morgan next week on SmackDown. Will Monty Brown even be in any condition to fight next? Oh my God. That's if you can even make it to next week. Well, I took the words right out of my mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody's got to check on Monty Brown. He might be in no condition to have a match next week. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a combustible start to Friday Night Smackdown. I wanted to thank you all for tuning in, but it's time for our first match of the evening as Eminem is in the ring and they await their opponent. This is the best way to kick off Smackdown, ladies and gentlemen. A number one contenders tournament to determine who will face Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero at SummerSlam. General Manager Bret Hart said it's time for new challengers. And we're about to find out who our new challenger will be in the coming weeks. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to Friday Night Smackdown as High Risk is in the building. The team that none of us knew that we wanted, but we are all so glad that we have them. Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam have the opportunity of a lifetime to get a shot at the tag team titles. They have been working in sync since the first time they tag team together. It's like they have been tag teaming for years, but they had only just recently joined forces. And now they could be getting a shot at the tag team titles, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you got for this? We'll leave it down in the live chat. Do you got Eminem or do you got High Risk? Walking out with a victory. A 
combustible start to Friday Night Smackdown, and it's going to be even more combustible as we kick off our first match of the evening as Joey Mercury kicks things off in the ring with Jeff Hardy. And over there at ringside, you can see that Molina is in the corner of Eminem. You will have to imagine that she will be a massive part in this matchup as Jeff Hardy gets the early descendancy, sending Joey Mercury off the ropes, drops underneath. Jeff Hardy, leapfrog over the top. Hardy, massive front drop kick takes down Mercury. Joey Mercury is in trouble here in the early going as he gets set into the corner. And Jeff Hardy with a massive Ric Flair lick chop in the corner. And another one. Joey Mercury is in trouble here at the start of this matchup as Jeff Hardy sends him into the other corner. Gonna look for a little self poetry in motion. Takes down Mercury and now Hardy off the ropes. An ultimate warrior like body splash. Jeff Hardy and RBD have full control of this match thus far. Eminem hasn't even gotten out of the gates yet. As he gets sent into the corner and we get the first tag of the evening as RBD is in the rain. This is one of two tag team matches that we are gonna see here tonight. As RBD gets Joey Mercury with a massive elbow. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, also tonight, Beth Phoenix will be in action ahead of her massive women's title match at SummerSlam. And in the main event, it was just determined Daniel Bryan will face Chris Benoit as RVD full head of steam with a drop kick in the corner. Joey Mercury is down. Joey Mercury rolling to the outside of the ring. These fans getting behind RVD here. And now RVD measuring his man wants him up to his feet. RVD is going to look to take flight here. But Molina, I said she would play a part in this match. And she did just that as she gave Joey Mercury just enough time to get back in the ring. And she caught Van Dam with a knee right in the face. He caught Van Dam with a knee right in the face. And now just like that, Eminem has taken control. Johnny Nitro gets the tag now in a reverse DDT. Just like that, the tide of this match has turned in the favor of Eminem. And a massive standing moonsault. Fantastic athleticism on the part of Johnny Nitro. But RVD, with the in ring awareness, rolls him up. Could steal the victory here. No, a kick out. Now, although Eminem have been a tag team for a little bit, RVD and Jeff Hardy, they know how to work. In a two on one situation, they know how to work as singles, guys. As RVD looks for the spin roundhouse kick, but he gets caught with an insecurity by Johnny Nitro. As I was saying, Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam, not only are they proficient singles competitors, they are proficient tag team competitors. They've been in the business a lot longer than Eminem. But right now, you wouldn't believe that they have as Johnny Nitro takes down Van Dam. And Jeff Hardy desperately wants to tag here, wants to get in this match. Will RVD get the tag? And oh, come on, Johnny Nitro with a cheap shot, knocking Hardy off the apron. And Rob Van Dam is back up to his feet. I don't think Johnny Nitro saw it, but now he does. And now here comes Van Dam with a clothesline. And another. Oh, but he gets caught in the clothesline by Nitro. Nitro lays out Van Dam, and now Nitro standing Spanish fly to Van Dam. This could be the beginning of the end. Party is down. Van Dam is down. And Johnny Nitro is going to the top rope. You know what could be coming next. 450 elbow off the top rope. Fantastic athleticism on the part of Johnny Nitro. Is it enough though? No, it's not. A kick out of two. Nitro can't believe it, but he can't afford to waste any time. He's got to stay on top of Van Dam. Hardy is still down. They have this match in the bag if they can keep this momentum going. It is essentially a two-on-one situation as long as Hardy stays down on the outside. And now a double back body drop RVD. Had to have gone 10 feet up in the air. At least 10 feet. As Mercury sent him into the corner. Now Mercury, what is he looking for here? Spins him around. Could be looking for something devious here. Hooks him up on the top rope. Joey Mercury 
Looks like he's looking for a neck breaker off the top rope, but RVD slips out the back. RVD slips out. Now here comes Van Dam. Looking to get back into the fight. Saz Mercury into the corner. Van Dam rising like a phoenix from the ashes. And another corner. A corner spear. And another one. Mercury's in trouble. Van Dam is getting back into this contest. And now Van Dam with the athleticism. Guillotine leg drop over the top rope. Mercury's got no idea where he's at or what he's doing. Nitro is screaming at him to turn around to get the tag. But Mercury has no idea where he's at or what he's doing. But he is in the wrong corner because Van Dam is on the top rope finish. A kick from the top rope. And now in perfect position, Van Dam looking for it. Rolling Thunder! Is that enough to put him away? Cover! Hooks the leg and there's Johnny Nitro breaks it up immediately. And that's what happens when it's a two-on-one situation. But Van Dam's not playing any games. Van Dam knocks Nitro off the apron with an insecurity. Van Dam not playing any games. He knows what's at stake here. And he's not gonna waste any time. Putting it all on the line and a suicide dive. Taking out Nitro. Molina can do nothing but watch on. And I agree with these fans. This is awesome. That's Van Dam back in the rain. But Joey Mercury. Joey Mercury double underhook DDT. That signature maneuver. A Joey Mercury into the cover. Hooks the leg. And it's still not enough to put RVD away. But it's got to be so close. How much more can Van Dam take? But Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy's back on his feet. And Hardy wants to tag, but Mercury stands in between him. And oh, a cheap shot by Mercury. Cheap shot by Mercury. But Van Dam fighting. Van Dam fighting back. Look for the kick. Mercury reversed. But RVD takes him out anyway. Both men are down. Both men are down. Hardy. Is this the opportunity that they needed? Hardy gets the tag. Hardy gets the tag. And now Mercury walks right into a jumping forearm by Hardy. Mercury rolling to the outside of the ring. Trying to create some separation, but he's not going to get any separation. Hardy takes flight. I agree with these fans. This is awesome. This is breathtaking. This is a SmackDown tag team division. And this is Hardy going to the top rope. Could be looking for the swan top, but there's Nitro. Oh, come on. Nitro shuts him down, and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a two-on-one situation again. But Hardy, Hardy's not going to give up. Hardy's going to fight. He's not going down without a fight. But oh my God, the two-on-one situation, the two-on-one situation, the numbers game coming into a play here. And now, wait a minute, hooks him up in a snapshot DDT. That tagged him, finish him, and over, and that's it. One, two, no. Hardy stays in it. Nitro doesn't realize it. Hardy kicked out and Van Dam takes Nitro out. Van Dam takes out Nitro, but Mercury gonna try to stay on top of Hardy. Calling him up to his feet. Could be looking for the final nail in the coffin, but Hardy fights out of it. Hardy able to get the reversals in. So shots to the leg, and now here comes Hardy. Here comes the charismatic enigma that we all know and love. Jeff Hardy, down he goes. And a drop kick. Mercury is in trouble. And Hardy going to the top rope. He wants Mercury up to his feet as Van Dam makes his way over to his corner. Hardy, high risk. And he hits it. Whisper in the wind. And now Molina looking for any sort of opportunity to take the referee away from the equation to distract him. But Hardy and Van Dam don't give a damn. I think it's, I think it's all but over here. He gets the tag, and a twist of fate by Hardy. And now Van Dam top rope, you know what's coming next. Five star frog splash. Cover, hooks the leg, high risk advances. What a match. What a way to kick off. Our first match here on Friday Night SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. High risk is moving on.
in the number one contenders tournament. Oh, hey Chavo. I'm really glad I ran into you. Is everything okay? You seemed upset about last week. Ray and I tried to invite you out to dinner with us. I just wanted to make sure we're good. Yeah, we're good, Eddie. And I'm glad I ran into you as well. I wanted to let you know that I just came from Bret Hart's office, and I asked him to put me in the number one contenders tournament for the tag team titles. He agreed as long as I could find a partner. I wanted to be the first to tell you. That won't be a problem, will it? Uh, no, that's not a problem, but who did you pick to be your partner? Oh, I can't tell you that, Unc. You'll just have to wait and see. Uh-huh, all right, Chavo. Well, hey, it was great chatting with you, but I gotta run. But good luck in your match next week. That was very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. It appears that Chavo Guerrero has been placed in the number one contenders tournament for the tag team titles. So who is his partner? I, I, I don't know about you guys, but it appears that the jealousy on the part of Chavo Guerrero continues. Does not seem to be happy with the success that Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero are having, but it is now time for some women's action as Christy Hemming awaits her opponent. And I don't think this is an opponent that you want. It is the Glamazon. It is a number one contender to the Women's Championship. It is Beth Phoenix. And ladies and gentlemen, as I said, at SummerSlam, Beth Phoenix gets the opportunity of a lifetime when she clashes with the ninth wonder of the world. China takes on Beth Phoenix at SummerSlam. And I imagine that the champion is watching this match very closely. As Beth Phoenix looks to gain some momentum after winning the first ever Queen of the Rain tournament, defeating Trish Stratus, who, if you missed Monday Night Raw, had a shot at the women's title, but came up short and then got turned on by Gail Kim. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, women's action here on SmackDown as Christy Hemme trying to fire herself up for this match, and oh my god. It's already over. Beth Phoenix with a boot just like that. And oh my god, a spit out power bomb. And I, I don't know if I don't know if this is the kind of match that Christy Hemming would have wanted. I know she went to Bret Hart earlier today and asked for a match. Asked for an opportunity to prove herself here on SmackDown. But maybe she should have waited. Beth Phoenix beating the holy hell out of Christy Hemming here. Christy's. She has had, oh my god. She has had no offense since the start of this match and she just tried to roll to the outside of the ring, but Beth Phoenix stopped her right in her tracks, said no, we're not done here. Sends her in the corner. Beth Phoenix looking to send a message ahead of the biggest party of the summer. Which will be live in ooh, Ontario, Canada. As Beth Phoenix has Hemi. Now what is this? Goodness gracious! The giant swing. And Christy Hemi trying to create some kind of separation. But again, Beth Phoenix says, uh uh, get your ass back in the ring. Beth Phoenix taking full control and oh, well, that's it. That's it. She's got the torture rack locked in on Christy Hemi. There's no way Christy Hemi's gonna be able to fight out of this. Christy Hemi is in trouble. Christy Hemi, she's got no choice. Christy's got to tap out. Just like that. Pure dominance, ladies and gentlemen. The Glamazon has truly arrived here on SmackDown. A quick victory for Beth Phoenix on the road to SummerSlam. It is back to the drawing board for Christy Hemi. But for Beth Phoenix, she's got one thing on her mind and it is the women's champion and speaking of the women's champion 
That's her music playing. And there she is. China and Beth Phoenix staring a hole through each other. I told you that she was going to be watching this match closely. I don't know if anybody has told you yet, but beating some pip squeak like Christy Hemme does not make you deserving of a shot at my women's championship. No, it doesn't make me deserving. Winning the first ever Queen of the Ring tournament makes me deserving. Oh, we got jokes now, huh? The real joke is you, if you think matches against the Teletubbies is gonna prepare you for our match at SummerSlam. But I think I got just the perfect way that we can see what you're truly made of before the pay-per-view. Why don't you face an opponent of my choosing next week on SmackDown? What do you say, Beth? Are you up for the challenge? You stand them up and I'll knock them down. You're on. Just don't go crying back to Triple H when I beat your ass at SummerSlam and take your women's title because we both know that door's closed. Wow. Shots fired and the challenge has been laid down next week. China's gonna pick Beth Phoenix's opponent. Just who in the world does the ninth wonder of the world have in mind to face the Glamazon? Undertaker, brother, we were born from the darkness, forged in the flames of hell itself. But you, you always saw yourself as superior. You reveled in the fear you instilled, relished in the power you wielded. And what of me, dear brother? I was but a shadow, condemned to lurk in your darkness, cast aside like a forgotten relic. The fire that scarred me, that twisted my flesh and my soul, you always reminded me of it, didn't you, Undertaker? You made me wear this mask, this symbol of my torment, to remind me of my pain, to remind me of my weakness. But no more, brother. No more will I cower in your shadow. No more will I bear this mask of shame. These scars, they're not real. They're just another one of your lies, another one of your manipulation. But I see through your deception now, Undertaker. I see the truth. And at SummerSlam, just as this mask will be cast aside, so too shall you, brother. The Undertaker will finally rest in peace. And I, I will rise from the ashes, a force to be reckoned with, no longer shackled by your tyranny. Prepare yourself, brother, for the reckoning is upon you. Rest in peace. <laughs> Another ominous message. From the Big Red Machine came. But what does it mean? It, it, it appears that Kane is going to shed the guilt and the torment that he claims his brother had over him for so many years. It appears that he's going to shed the mask and reveal his true abilities. We're going to have to see how that pans out, but ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our second tag team match of the evening. As Christopher Daniels and his disciple, Frankie Kazarian, make their way to the ring for some tag team action. But wait a minute, through the crowd, and this one wasn't going to take long to break down. AJ Styles and Christian attacking Daniels and Kazarian at ringside, not wasting any time here. It was Daniels and Kazarian that attacked AJ Styles so many different times as Daniels gets sent over the barricade. And AJ Styles called out some help of Christian. It was last week that AJ Styles came to the aid of Christian. And this week, it's Christian coming to the aid of AJ Styles in this tag team match. 
as Daniels is down on the cement floor and now AJ Styles with the forearm shot right off the apron taking down Kazarian Christian makes his way back to his corner and ladies and gentlemen this has essentially become a, a two on one handicap match and this match is this match has begun this match is still taking place ladies and gentlemen with or without Daniels this match is taking place as Christian gets the tag and now Christian and AJ Styles going to work in unison here a double hip toss and a double kick to the chest and back of Kazarian if you guys cast your minds back to last week on Smackdown Christian had Daniels and Kazarian on the return episode of the Peep Show and just when it looked like Daniels and Kazarian were going to try to to attack Christian to send a message to Styles it was a phenomenal one that came to the aid of Christian and as I said it appears that it appears that Christian was called on for some help by AJ Styles as Christian takes down Kazarian down into the cover off the elbow hooks the leg and a no it's a kick out he has not done enough to put him away just yet but in a two on one situation this match could be over at any point As now Christian gets the tag into Styles, and what is this? AJ Styles on the top rope, taking flight, massive forearm shot, massive shoulder tackle off the top rope, and then the phenomenal knee drop. AJ Styles and Christian have full control. Kazarian has no idea what he got himself in for when he decides to join. Christopher Daniels that came to the rain off the style of DDT into the cover and it's a kick out at two by Kazarian. What a night we've had ladies and gentlemen. It is not over yet. We still have our main event of the evening. But AJ Styles sends Kazarian into the corner gets the tag into Christian. And these two could be a part of the tag team title tournament as a right to the arm and then a slap across the face by Christian. Now Christian sends him into the corner and you know what's coming next. Pendulum kick right to the forehead. Sets him up. Pops over and an impaler DDT into the cover. Hooks the leg. Is that enough? No it's not. It's a kick out. A kick out and now Christian sends Kazarian into the corner and a massive running forearm or a massive running uppercut and a running bulldog to follow it up and now tags in Styles who is in perfect position to put an end to Frankie Kazarian AJ Styles has been going through hell as of late thanks to Daniels and Kazarian and AJ Styles looking to take him out here tonight so that he can move on to bigger and better things. And you know what's coming next. Phenomenal forearm. AJ, AJ's calling for it, but there's there's Christopher Daniels. Christopher Daniels has Styles. Wait a minute, no, no, no. No, no, not on the floor. He just dropped AJ Styles face first on the floor. And Christian has no choice. He's gonna go confront him. Styles has been busted open and taken out at the hands of Christopher Daniels once again and Frankie Kazarian takes out Christian. Ladies and gentlemen, somebody's got to check on Styles. He got dropped face first on that floor and there's very thin padding out there, ladies and gentlemen. And, and I'm being told that we have sent for medical staff to come down and get AJ Styles out of the ringside area. AJ Styles is not, he's in critical condition, ladies and gentlemen. It is a two on one situation once again, but this time it's Daniels and Kazarian and a two on one advantage over Christian. AJ Styles being stretched out of the arena as we speak. And Christopher Daniels, massive brain buster to Christian. Well, this is not good. AJ Styles has been stretched out of the arena and Christian has to go it alone 
against Daniel Kazarian. And Christian trying to roll to the outside of the ring. Great in-ring awareness. Trying to create some kind of separation. Must have been instinct at this point. But Christopher Daniels calling him up to his feet. And now Christopher Daniels taking flight. Takes out Christian. Ladies and gentlemen. Christian's in trouble. Daniels and Kazarian could be closing in on a victory here. Daniels picks him up. Sends him off the ropes. What's he looking for here? Leapfrog over the top. And a massive Samoan drop in the center of the ring. I gotta take a second to panda to these fans as Christian just trying to get back up to his feet. Trying to get back to this contest. And this might be the opening that he needed. Christopher Daniels getting caught with the right by Christian. And now Christian sends him into the corner. Christian running up for cut to Daniels. And now you know it's coming next. Could be looking. Oh no, looks to take out the leg. But Daniels saw it coming. Daniels saw it coming. Now Daniels. Yuranagi! Into the cover. Hooks the leg. Christian stays in the fight. The number one contender to the US title is not giving up. Christian is doing it for his peeps. But this could be it here. This could be it, but Christian. Christian reversed. Christian reversed. And here comes Christian. Here comes Christian. Fighting back. Down he goes. Flashback. Hooks him up, but Kazarian breaks it up. Kazarian broke it up, and down goes Kazarian. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And Christian doing whatever it takes to get the victory for his team. Oh, by his lonesome pendulum kick. And Christian and Pallor DDT. Cover. Hooks the leg. Is that enough? Oh, a kick out of two. Daniels back up to his feet, but Christian staying right on top of him. Sends him into the corner. And now Christian hooks him up on the top rope. What is he looking for here? What is he looking for here? A superplex off the top rope. Daniels is in position. Christian is in position. You know what's coming next. Christian is measuring him. Looking for the spear. Call him up to his feet. But wait a minute. There's the United States Champion. Matt Hardy from behind distracting Christian. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, good God. Face first goes Christian. Cover. Hawks the leg. Daniels and Kazarian are victorious. You have got to be kidding me. Team Manitou gets involved in Christian's match again. Spare me this garbage. Somebody's got to do something about this. Bret Hart's got to do something. This is getting ridiculous. It's been weeks that Team Attitude's gotten involved in Christian's matches. And ladies and gentlemen, Daniels and Kazarian are victorious here tonight on SmackDown. Gotta be kidding me. Are you proud of what you just did, Matt? I gotta tell you, I'm getting real tired of your little posse ruining my matches. So here's the deal. If you or any of your cronies from Team Mattitude dare to stick your noses in Christian's matches from this moment until SummerSlam, I will not hesitate to strip you of that United States Championship. And mark my words, that title opportunity will be given to someone else who deserves it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a main event match to focus on. See yourself out.
Hey Daniel, I just wanted to wish you luck in your match tonight. It feels like only yesterday that you and I were squaring up on velocity and I wore those awful yellow pants. Anyway, I just wanted to say that despite what Benoit has said, you do belong here. Benoit went out and demanded the spotlight. Now you go out and prove that you deserve to be in it. And between you and me, I'd be honored to defend my WWE Championship against you anytime. Good luck. Go get him American Dragon. The WWE Champion John Cena wishing Daniel Bryan good luck in his main event match, ladies and gentlemen. But also, did you hear that announcement? If a member of Team Manitou gets involved in Christian's matches from this point until SummerSlam, Matt Hardy will be stripped of the United States title. Just when I said something needs to be done, General Manager Bret Hart stepped in and did something. That's what a good General Manager does. But ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's already time for the main event of the evening. And it has got combustible written all over it. As a number one contender to the WWE Championship, Chris Benoit makes his way to the ring. And John Cena said it best. This man demanded the spotlight, and he took the spotlight. But his opponent has done everything in his power to earn the spotlight, to prove that he deserves to be in the spotlight. This match is about respect. This match is about former partners, a former tag team, that imploded right before our very eyes. Arguably one of the greatest tag teams on SmackDown. And this match is about respect. It's a mentor versus a protege. And this is the American Dragon. It is Daniel Bryan. This match has to mean everything for Daniel Bryan. The first big match since coming to the WWE. Of course, take nothing away. Daniel Bryan and Chris Benoit, our former tag team champions, they capture the tag team titles at WrestleMania. Lost the titles at Judgment Day, but nevertheless, I would, I would have to say, that this is the biggest match of Daniel's career. And it's in the main event, in the bell. And this match is underway, and here we go as Daniel looks for the roundhouse kick right off the get-go. And this match is not gonna take long. These two know each other very well. And Chris Benoit with a German suplex, right away. This is a match between two of the greatest in-rank competitors in WWE. And right now, Daniel Bryan is getting beaten down by Benoit here. And Benoit again, again with a German suplex. Benoit saying that he's gonna take Brian to school here tonight. And Brian fighting back here. Brian not willing to quit, not willing to give up. They call him the American Dragon for a reason. And here comes Daniel Bryan trying to get back to the contest. But again, Benoit shuts him down with a clothesline. Brian trying to roll. Out of the rain, trying to create some separation, but Benoit saw it coming. He said, no, you're going to keep your ass right in the rain. I'm going to teach you something here tonight, kid. And oh, God. A kitchen sink to Daniel Bryan. Daniel's in massive trouble, ladies and gentlemen. And now the, oh, my God, the mud hole stomps in the corner. The mud hole stomps by the number one contender. And now Benoit choking the life out of out of Daniel Bryan. And this is just getting uncomfortable to watch. Daniel Bryan can't do anything here. Now Daniel, oh God. I'm going after the arm of Daniel Bryan. Into a back suplex. Oh. This match could easily be over, ladies and gentlemen. Into the cover, hooks the leg, and no. Bryan's gonna fight. Bryan's not gonna quit. Brian's gonna do whatever it takes to stay in this match to prove that he deserves to be in the spotlight. And here comes Daniel Bryan with the chops. And a spinning discus forearm. 
taking down Benoit. And this is a spot, this is a moment that Brian needed. Sends Benoit into the corner and a massive running kick right to the jaw. And Brian gonna follow it up with another running kick in the corner. Brian gaining some momentum into the cover. And it's a kick out at one. And I think Brian knew that that wouldn't be enough, but he just wanted to see where Benoit was at after that flurry of offense. And now Benoit gets caught with the roundhouse kick, gets caught with the chop, and now Brian sends him into the corner. He's gonna look for the chops once again. And another one. Brian lighting up Benoit's chest, turning it a crimson red. But Benoit saying, whatever you can do, I can do better. Oh my God, there's the chops by Benoit. Nobody hits the chops quite like Chris Benoit. And oh my God, you hear that one. Did you hear that, that last chop? And just like that, Benoit has taken back control of this match. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Brian, Daniel Bryan's in massive trouble here. And Benoit talking a little bit of trash. It's not often that you see Benoit get that kind of confidence. But he is taking, he's taking Daniel Bryan to school right now. He's got a lot to be confident about. He taught Brian everything he knows, but he did not teach him everything that he knows. And now here comes Chris Benoit full head of steam, but Daniel caught him with a knee. Daniel caught him with a knee. Benoit took too much time to showboat. He took too much time, and now Brian top rope and a leg drop over the back of the neck. Over the back of the neck, into the cover, hooks the leg, and it's a kick out by, by Benoit. This match continues. This match continues, and now it's it's Benoit trying to create a little bit of separation. And Brian says, here, I'll give you some separation. Send your ass right to the floor. Well, that's not why he sent, sent him out there. You know exactly why. Brian, full head of steam, suicide dive, but no, he gets caught with the right. He got caught with the left hand. He got caught with the left hand. Benoit saw it coming, and he saw it coming because he does that move so often. And now here comes Benoit. German suplex, and another. And the trifecta. And now Benoit is saying that's it. I'm gonna put him away. Benoit going to the top rope, but Brian rolling to the outside of the ring. I don't know if that was great in-ring awareness or just pure luck on the part of Daniel Bryan. I don't even know if Bryan knows what he just did right there. But here comes Benoit, but Bryan caught him. They went shot for shot with that one. Benoit got rocked, and now Bryan back in the ring. And now the kicks. Those devastating kicks to the chest. And one across the head for good measure. Bryan could be closing in on the biggest win of his life. Running knee, no! Benoit caught it, Benoit caught it! Sharpshooter, sharpshooter! Sharpshooter's locked in! Benoit's wrenching! And Brian is clawing! But he might have to tap out! He might have to tap out! It's gut check time for Daniel Bryan! What's he gonna do? Is it gonna fight out or tap out? And it looks like he's choosing the former. Daniel Bryan fought out, of, fought out of it. And now he catches him across the head. Pele kick to Benoit. A Pele kick to Chris Benoit. And now Bryan measuring his man. More kicks, more right hands, more chops. And now Bryan power bomb to the rabid Wolverine. And he might have shut down the Wolverine, but no, it's a kick out of two. What's it gonna take for these two to put each other away? What a match, ladies and gentlemen. What a main event. Dana Bryan sends it back in the corner, look for the running kick again, but this time Benoit gets a reversal. This time Benoit saw it coming. You can't do the same move more than once when it comes to Benoit. Now Benoit with a fisherman suplex. Bridging cover. Is that enough? No, it's not. 
Not enough. And Benoit says, that's it. That's it. Get your ass up. Let's see what you're made of. Benoit is letting Brian get up to his feet. And Benoit says, you want to go? Let's go. And Benoit says, you want to go? I'm right here. Let's do this. And here we go. Benoit with a kick. Brian with a, with a roundhouse. A chop from, from Benoit. And Brian answers back. Benoit with the right hand. That one rocks Brian. But Brian with a chop and another one. Benoit's rocked. Brian's fighting back. Brian won't be denied here. Daniel Bryan will not be denied. And Daniel Bryan gets sent into the corner. But Daniel Bryan leaps over the top. Here comes Bryan running knee, but no! Benoit caught him with a close line. Benoit caught him, and now Benoit, German suplex. And another one, going back to the well. But wait a minute, Bri Brian, Brian rolls through. You can't do the same move more than once with Brian. And now Brian, Brian, Brian. The lapel lock, the lapel lock. It's locked in. Benoit might tap out just weeks before his big match at SummerSlam. Brian is wrenching back on the lapel lock. Benoit might not have a choice, but no, the referee. Benoit said no. Benoit fought it, fought out of it. Benoit somehow fought out of it. And now Benoit with the cross face, cross face, cross face. Benoit is locked in the cross face. But is this enough? It is. Brian has to live to fight another day. Taps out to the cross face. What a match. Ladies and gentlemen, it was all about respect. And I think the respect was just earned. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Benoit is victorious, but he shows respect to Daniel Bryan here tonight. You love to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Benoit is victorious, and now he's got one main focus, and that is on the WWE Championship. Thank you all so much for tuning in for Friday Night nice Smackdown.